Hello, dear students. I welcome you back to the class of pharmacology. As you all know, my name is Dr. Mani Bashraf and I am working as an assistant professor of pharmacology. Today we are here for another important topic of chemotherapy which is cell wall synthesis inhibitors. First we will be talking about the importance of cell wall and how is it synthesized. Cell wall. As we all know that a bacterial cell is composed of these four components here. You can see here. The first very important component is a cytoplasm which is surrounded by a cytoplasmic membrane which we also name as cell membrane. Then in some of the bacteria we have a periplasmic space and above all in the bacteria we have a bacterial cell wall. Why is bacterial cell wall important? This is very important to understand. This cell wall protects your cell membrane from the harsh environment of the surrounding. Once your cell wall is not there, this cytoplasmic membrane will be disrupted and after the disruption of this cytoplasmic membrane, what will happen? Your cell will not be there. Your bacterial cell will be disrupted. So this is the reason a cell wall is very important for the integrity of a bacteria. If we talk about this, about this cell wall and its composition, a cell wall is composed of peptidoglycan. The thickness of a peptidoglycan layer can be different in gram positive and gram negative bacteria. First, what are the major components, the basic components of a peptidoglycan layer? A peptidoglycan layer is composed of an acetyl glucosamine, which we have denoted here with a G, and an acetyl muramic acid, which we have denoted here with an M. So, when we talk about the composition of a bacterial cell wall, it is basically composed of N acetyl glucosamine and N acetyl muramic acid residues, which are joined to each other and form an elongated chain. The elongated chain is strengthened by the cross-linking between different muramic acid through pentasaccharides. Now, as you can see here, with a muramic acid, five amino acids are attached. Five amino acids are attached. And to another muramic acid, another five amino acids are attached. And at the end of these amino acids, they form a bond, a peptide bond through transpeptidase enzyme. So here we have to remember a very important thing that this transpeptidase enzyme is very important for making this peptide bond between the amino acids attached to the muramic acid residues. Once this peptide bond is formed, this leads to cross-linking. This is very important to remember cross-linking in the cell wall. This cross-linking is very important for the integrity and strength of your cell wall. Higher the number of cross-linking, higher will be the strengthening of your cell wall. So, whenever we talk about different drugs, one group of drugs which is beta-lactam antibiotics, which are the cell wall synthesis inhibitors with beta-lactam ring, they block this transpeptidation reaction and thus block this cross-linking and thus decreases the strengthening of your cell wall, the bacteria. And then one very important thing, the mechanism by which we can get this glucosamine and muramic acid, N-acetyl glucosamine and muramic acid. They say that UDP glucosamine is converted into UDP muramic acid by an enzyme which is inositol triphosphate, enol pyruvate transferase, sorry, enol pyruvate transferase. This conversion leads to the production of UDP muramic acid. This all process is taking place in the cytoplasm. From this UDP glucosamine, UDP muramic acid is produced and to this UDP muramic acid, D-alanine and D-alanine and the pentapeptide chain is attached. Once this pentapeptide is attached to this muramic acid, this is then converted into an acetyl muramic acid with the pentapeptide chain. So, here we can see that there is a complex formed which is 
ग्लूकोजामीन म्यूरामिक एसिड एंड पेंटापेप्टाइड चेन अटैच टू दैट एन एसिटाइल म्यूरामिक एसिड दीज दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स फ्रॉम द साइटोप्लाज्म विल देन क्रॉस द सेल मेम्ब्रेन एंड थ्रू एन ट्रांसपोर्टर व्हिच इज बैक्टोप्रिनॉल नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इन द आउटसाइड द सेल मेम्ब्रेन दिस यू नो कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ ग्लूकोजामीन मिरामिक एसिड एंड पेंटापेप्टाइड चेन दे बाइंड टू ईच अदर for a process which is chain elongation in the presence of an enzyme which is trans glycosylase enzyme trans glycosylase enzyme now this trans glycosylase enzyme can also be blocked blocking trans glycosylation and elongation of your cell wall clear then we have different enzyme there alanine racemase which can be blocked alanine ligase which can be blocked then we have enol pyruvate transferase this can also be blocked we can also block bactoprenol so we can block different sites for blocking the synthesis of cell wall clear so different cell wall synthesis inhibitors we'll be talking about different cell wall synthesis inhibitors in the upcoming lecture hope you understand how cell wall synthesis is taking place and how can we use different drugs at different sites thank you very much